It's a homecoming many veterans have been waiting for. Uh, you know, this is an incredible uh, journey for the fair and, and for the community. It takes about a year to put together the effort uh, to bring the wall to town. A half-scale replica of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial, known as the Wall That Heals, will call the Benton County Fairgrounds home for the next week. Tim Tates is the director of outreach for the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund. He says having the wall at the fair is a unique experience. They get to touch and feel and, and share with their family members. This was my buddy. This was the guy I served with. This is the guy that you know slept three feet away from me uh, here on the wall. And remember that uh, is, is a unique experience here in your own backyard. Since its dedication in 1996, the wall has visited 350 cities across the United States. Tate says along with the wall, they also have a mobile education center. So it has a timeline of the war. It has a map about where in the country ours. And then we have three display panels that show some of the 400,000 items that have been left behind at the wall. You're going to be able to come and see the things here left at this wall, but we're showing you stuff that's been left at a national memorial in Washington, D.C. And you don't get to see that unless you come down and see this. The exhibit will be at the fairgrounds until Sunday evening, and Tate says you don't want to wait till last minute to view it in person. You really should come down and see this wall and see what's uh, unique about it, and definitely come down and see this at night. Uh, this one is magical at night. The Wall That Heals exhibit is located next to the 4-H exhibit building on the Benton County Fairgrounds. Reporting from Sock Rapids, Alex Wykowski, WJON News.